This is Jemima May, a 57-foot traditional-style narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats in 2005. She's a lovely boat. She's had three owners. She's an old friend of ours. We sold her last May in 2017. The current owner just isn't using her, so she's come back to us for sale. In the last year, she's been re-blacked. That was in June 2017. She's had an engine service. And she's a lovely boat. I'm going to get on board now. It's just before the beast from the east is about to hit us, so it's freezing. So on we go. The gas bottles, two 13 kilos, are housed there in the bow locker. The world deck itself measures three foot seven long, and there's a couple of bench seat stroke lockers either side of the world deck there. On into the boat we go. She feels so cosy, this boat. I remember her from when we sold her last year and she's just as nice as I remember her. She's fitted out in oak face ply. Lovely warm and cosy feel. The saloon's large, just over 16 feet long, 16 feet 2 inches. That's a 3 kilowatt solid fuel, a uh, multi-fuel stove. There's a useful storage step here. That television's a 21 inch Polaroid. There's a satellite dish and a freeview box on board as well. The stereo you see there is a Clarion CD and radio. Three radiators on board and a towel rail heated by the Eberspacher diesel fired system. And this L shaped dinette is designed, as you can see there, to make up into a double bed, but there's no baseboard on board. You need to cut a baseboard to fit, but that's very straightforward. The table is demountable, and hey presto, you have a double berth. A couple of useful cupboards over the kitchen counter there. Just a view back down through the saloon. Good headroom on board. Six foot six, Liverpool built tall boats. They're known for that. And on we go into the galley, a walkthrough arrangement. Nice shapes in here, and plenty of storage. I do get a bit of rib poking about all the cupboards I open on these videos, but I think it's useful to see. There's the fridge. It's a 12 volt lec. Plenty of work surfaces in here, and on the other side, on the port side of the boat, is the sink. Cupboards under. And the cookers are stoves, 500. Drop-in oven grill and a four burner gas hob with cupboards over. And a PG Tips product placement. There we go. I'll give them a call and see what's in it for me. Nice side hatch here. Very light boat. Big windows in here. There are six hopper opening bus style windows on board and four portholes towards the stern. Down we go to the bathroom. Lovely room this. Ceramic sink, the loo's a pump out. There's a Vetus, the holding tank's 216 litres and it has a tank gauge. And the shower's a tiled quadrant style. Really nice room, good space. There's a sliding door, that doesn't encroach inside or out. There's a heated towel rail in there as well. When we go to the bedroom, there's another radiator here. The bed itself measures six foot two inches long by four feet wide. A couple of reading lights over the pillows, which are situated under those cupboards. And three very useful sized drawers under the bed itself. The bedroom's a good size, ten feet long by ten feet six inches long, and at the foot of the bed, two, not one but two, very good sized wardrobes. Floor to ceiling. Lots of storage space. And just to the right inside this cupboard the chlorophyll is situated under those racks so it's a bit of an airing cupboard as well. Charming boat this. The flooring throughout there are carpets in the saloon in the bedroom and the, the galley has wood for vinyl effect. 
in the galley and the bathroom actually. The engine's situated in the stern cabin here under those deck boards. That's an Isuzu 42. It's only 370 odd hours on that. She's not been used a lot, but she has been regularly serviced. Mind your head, I didn't yesterday and I cracked myself properly. There we go, Jemima May, lovely boat. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.